Hi, I'm Carol Jan, an undergrad student at UC Davis studying food science. Today, I'd like to show you around the LEED Platinum Certified Pilot Plant and the Food Innovation Lab at Robert Mondavi Institute. So let's get started. The Food Innovation Lab is a favorite space of mine, and I can't wait for you to see it. So I would say the Food Innovation Lab is unique because it is a lab classroom that's also a kitchen. We don't have a lot of places that have a facility like this. Directly behind me, we call this sort of the teaching side. We have six more or less identical stations where we can set up experiments in student classes. We could have one recipe and then five other variations. So if you wanted to test, you know, what is gluten and what does it do in bread, we would change the amounts at each station. The other side we have is our commercial side, and it's a modular setup with commercial equipment hookups so that, say, a restaurant client that wanted to test something could come in, bring whatever the equipment they want. We could switch it in and out in a few minutes and be ready to go. So the coolest thing here is getting to see what people come up with, especially like, let's say, in our product development classes. I get to see all the sort of unique perspectives our students bring to the food world and all the creativity and like, the, you know, having a tangible result is awesome. This is a space where innovation happens uh, from PhD research thesis work to undergrad product development classes to intro to food science classes. This is a space where we are actually doing the work and learning and growing. Uh, and that's not something that you can do with just a textbook. Most of it is taking chemistry out of the lab or out of the textbook and then applying it into a food group. There's also taking microbiology out of the classroom. They learn about lactic acid bacteria and fermentation as a way of preserving things. And then they come in here and make something like sauerkraut, for instance. I've used the Food Innovation Lab in my research as a food safe space to make the actual almond milk that I am making for my research project. This is something that I can't do in an average chemistry lab because it's gotta be on food grade equipment. I think we're fairly unique there in that other people are coming to look at this to see what they should add to their program. I spent a lot of time in the pilot plant and I can't wait for you guys to see it. The pilot plant is unique because it encompasses much of the variety that you see in commercial food processing from pasteurization to washing, cutting, drying, freeze drying. It's all represented within our pilot plan. It provides a great opportunity for students to put theory to practice. So the pilot plant, I think, is a really unique space. Um, it's about 4,000 square feet, and the way it's set up is to allow for equipment that needs to stay hardwired in, like the freeze dryer over there or these kettles. Those stay set up all the time. But the really cool thing is that all of the different panels of produce that are behind me, those allow for equipment to be brought in for flexibility. So we're able to do a really big variety of projects for students, faculty, and companies in the food science space. So we can roll in a chocolate tempering machine to teach a class to the chocolate industry and then roll it back out when we're done. So we have a dehydrator and that is used by um, some professors in plant sciences every year uh, to make plums. So they do plum and prune research. So they turn the plums into prunes. And then we also have a high pressure processing unit, which is really unique. There's not many of them at universities across the country. Then in the far corner, we have a retort, and we do an annual peach project where there's a professor on campus that breeds canning peaches. So we work with him every year. And then our students, a lot of their curriculum is around heat transfer and food pasteurization, so they get to use that. I always loved baking and um, chemistry and biology. So naturally, when I found out that food science was a major, I wanted to pursue it. And UC Davis is one of the best places to do so. The pilot plant is integral to student learning in that it provides an opportunity for experiential learning. So it allows them to have a tactile sense of everything that they learn in the classroom. The impact that I think the pilot plant has on student careers is that it gives them a little bit of familiarity with equipment before they go into the workforce. And having students understand the process for foods that they're gonna be developing or doing quality control for, I think makes them even more competitive. 
My career goal is to pursue product development after graduating from UC Davis. A lot of product development involves knowing each step of the process to make a food product, and a lot of that happens in a pilot plant, so this experience helped me understand what kinds of methods and machinery is used in making food products. The Milk Lab brings innovation to the dairy industry. Let's check it out. The food industry views our graduates as being very well equipped, motivated, creative, and that stems from our curriculum that covers all the foundational elements of the field from food chemistry to microbiology, processing to sensory science. The Milk Processing Lab contains all the operations that you would find in a commercial dairy from separation to homogenization, pasteurization to filling. It also contains a number of different filtration and separation technologies that can be used to isolate bioactive compounds from dairy streams. So the Milk Processing Lab really fuels a lot of collaborative and multidisciplinary research in both the dairy and non-dairy sectors. But we don't have the constraints of producing uh, milk for human consumptions. So because we don't have to produce for the consumers, we can do more innovation. And then we hope that the industry will take some of our processes and eventually translate them to make healthier and better tasting dairy products. The milk processing lab, the mainly we do university research and graduate students in the department, postdoctoral researchers uh, working with Professor Daniela Barilli and Professor Juliana Bell, who are co-directing this facility, can work in this lab. And we also help the dairy, people coming from the dairy industry. So we help them to uh, develop their process, test their products, and then new processes by using this pasteurization unit, crimp separator, microfiltration, the membrane unit, and then the desalination unit. I work in the milk lab because I'm passionate about food innovation. And working in the milk lab, I have a chance to learn about food processing with hands-on. Working in the milk processing lab, I have a chance to learn how to overcome several challenges faced by the food industry, and that makes the work very meaningful as a researcher. I work in this lab to have experience in working in a pilot scale lab, uh, to test my experiments on a larger scale, on a pilot scale, and uh, see their ability to be used commercially. And I can develop new or innovative filtration techniques for academia or industry, and also, when I am back to my country, I can apply these uh, processing techniques in new research projects. What I've seen is that our students are really driven and prepared to become innovators. We've seen that in our product development courses and extracurricular activities. So I'm very excited to see what our students prepare going forward and how they revolutionize the food system. I trust you enjoyed your tour here at the Robert Mondavi Institute. To hear about our future programs that are educational and entertaining, please sign up for a newsletter at our website or follow us on social media. On behalf of the Institute, thanks for visiting.